right there you got my f2 lichen shepherd k bar german shepherd hobo and blue bay shepherd kurgan we're in an off-leash dog park you got some kids and a golden retriever up there hiking it's a beautiful day in the river valley come along i also have the beautiful tammy back there behind me how you doing beautiful dog <laughs> oh no that's okay it's okay that's just dogs being dogs she's just telling them to stay back come on come on kurgan cranky old dog defending her kids. Uptight because of my dogs. You see they handle it very well. Down. Again, we spend a lot of time socializing them so they react to those situations well. It's part of the benefits of the pack feedings that we do. It uh, teaches them good canine uh, communication skills so they don't get uptight and overreact in those situations. Good boy. See, even K-Bar handled it well. Beautiful day, huh? Yeah, perfect. One. Down there. What? I saw a frog down there. I didn't. I just thought I did. A woodpecker on the tree over there. See it? out of hell there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's beautiful. got three dogs with us today which is kind of a challenge because uh, it makes things pretty tight in the back of the Jeep for them on the trip down but uh, that's about the limit I always have people asking why we don't take them all with us and well, that's why I drive a Jeep and uh, I really can only cram two or three yeah two or three large dogs <laughs> in the back at a time
Nice bird. Did you hear that? I did. <laughs> See, they're all smiling, huh? <laughs> Happy. You see Tammy sport some of our new channel merch. Show the front, Tam. Got one on too. It's the Blood Brothers uh, shirt. We've got uh, five new designs in the store on Teespring. There's always a link at the bottom of the video description. Uh, good way to support the channel if you're looking uh, to do that. I'm happy if you just watch the videos and share them, but if you're looking to do more, this is a good way to get something cool in return. Which way? Yeah, let's go straight. We'll go through the muddy area. And then we'll work our way to the yeah, clean water. With all the rain we got. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be wet. We got some uh, big storms the other night. We've been getting a lot of rain this summer. Not as much as last summer, but no. quite a bit. Straight? Uh, it's probably easier if we go here okay. and then circle back through just because that looks pretty sure. over where we've grown. Okay. Yes. Lobo, stick around. Bo. We're going that way. Kurgan. Kurgan. That way. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, my legs are getting all wet. Hello, Dan. Gave our acting like his dad there. Neither jump or walk the plank. <laughs> walk the plank. <laughs> right, there's gonna be a lot of mosquitoes through here because it's swampy. Let's get out of this area quick. What? <laughs> and they're constantly eating different grasses and leaves and greenery down here. And they don't puke it up when they get home, which is a plus. <laughs> Somebody's yelling over there. They're calling for a dog. We're in a uh, big wilderness off-leash park right now, so you're gonna hear and see 
a lot of other people and dogs. Oh yeah. Dog fight. Well, yeah. I don't know how that stream is gonna go. Yeah, that's just gonna make the dogs fight more. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, that's one of the number one mistakes people make when their dogs get in a fight is you know, they scream hysterically like that. It uh, just spurs the fighting on. But what do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube, right, Sam? Right. <laughs> oh, look at the water flowing. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. This is the runoff from uh, Clearwater Spring, which is a natural spring. Oh, comes down through there. in the mud. Well, I'm glad we took this way today. We missed all the commotion. I wonder if that's uh, the lady with the kids with that female dog. Or if that was something else. Yeah, sometimes if your dog is like that, it's best not to even, why bring it? Yeah, why stress it out? Yeah, right. I, I agree. This probably Those isn't. problems that are unnecessary. Yeah. That might not have been that dog though, but I, right. I had the feeling it was. <laughs> oh God, look at him. <laughs> Mud beast. That makes it feel so good. <laughs> Little mud action. Come on, move. Yeah, she's beautiful through here, isn't it? It is. Seriously, I love the way the light comes through like that. Mm hmm. Uh-oh, really? Make sure you give them a wide berth or they leave Oh my god, look what they did. They pig pinned you? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> really? Holy buckets. Okay, I need to get some water. Let me see you get Nice. From Kurgan and K-Bar with love. Right? Oh. Bubba, are you wet? Come here. Shake out. Yeah, let them rub off on you. There's some clean water up here you can clean off on. Go on. The CK bar likes to wallow in the mud more like Kurgan than uh, Puko did. Puko just ran through it. I would say personality wise, K bar is probably more like uh, Kurgan than Puko, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Hey, Kurgan's just been snacking on the greens today. <laughs> Was it? Yep. Really? Yep. That's funny. If you go back to our last video, uh, we came across that guy in Barney. Barney's not very compliant. I think the vacation thing might have been just an excuse then, huh? What? They said the, the vacation line must have been just an excuse then. <laughs> I just want to rinse off all your stuff on my leg there. 
lay your leg down in it, sweetie. There's deep water here, you can just lay your leg in it while keeping your shoe up on the... Ooh, there's all kinds of little fish in here too. Yeah, little minnows. View the panoramic 360 of the area. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, that's him. Barney! Do you have a paper towel? Uh, I don't. Oh. In the car. You have to drift dry. Come on that way. Uh, cross and along there, I think. Do you think? Okay. Or do you want to head to the beach? I don't know. I that maybe we might want to avoid the dogs that we're fighting. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Look how flooded this is now, Tam. I don't. We can't even cross here. The river and look, the river must be a lot. Yeah, the river is a lot higher from the rain last night because this whole area is flooded again, Tim. Look, you see that? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. If you look at uh, our last hiking video, close to we were walking across this area. So when the Mississippi gets high, it all back floods back across here. Yeah, yep, it is pretty. This whole area is just beautiful. Yeah, it's a lovely day. Blue skies, huh? Oh, look at this thing crud all over the land. Hopefully, hopefully the video wasn't blurry all through this. I'll be pissed if it was like that last, like that last video. Well, just in case the beginning footage of this was screwed and I didn't put it on the channel. Hi, we're down here at the Mississippi River Valley with Lobo, my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan, and 12 month old Light and Shepherd uh, K Bar. We've been down here hiking for a while. Uh, there was some crud on the lens. Uh, if it was on through the whole hike, I'm going to scrap the first part. Look at it, it's got a little rock inside. Oh, nice. It's got a passenger, it's pregnant. Yep. Head back this way and over because I, I don't want it. That's going to be a swampy through that grass. Come on. Good boys. Did it? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're wearing white. <laughs> it's built for tough. It'll come out in the wash. Right. Yeah, I think we're all gonna need a bath after this hike, sweetie. Right? <laughs> I have those shoes. Just yeah, I bet that was that woman and that dog when we first <laughs> came in that was... Yep. Well, you know, and that's an old female dog, and she's got her got kids, her kids got her kids with, so I'm sure she's feeling protective. Yeah. I don't know. I, female dogs I've owned have always been way more protective and uh, alert than male dogs, especially of the property and the kids. I mean, that's just been my experience.
Coming over to get a shot? Yeah. Get me all dirty. Oh yeah. <gasps> nice. I do. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Appreciate that. Yeah. He's like, hey, that's my favorite toy at home. I'm going to pick it up. Fun. Well, you gotta expect to go to get dirty when you're hiking the day after a big storm. Right? Yeah, it's muddy. <laughs> yeah, it is muddy. Fortunately, it's not uh, deep enough for us to not walk across here. Yeah, the water's really high. Crazy. Like this. I like the necklaces that necklace. Is that the one you had that lady drill? Yeah, mm. one of them. Yeah, nice. Super cool. Yeah, she's got a few more that she did herself now. Cool. I've got a Panamu tooth. It's one of my favorite stones, Panamu. It's uh, a jade that comes from New Zealand. I collect it. I've got a, a lot of pieces of it. The Maori people valued it more than gold. I'm a big fan of racks and crystals. I collect a lot of that stuff. I think yeah, that, that that woman's voice. Oh my god. That's the one who was screaming. I recognize it. Poor dog. Oh my god, can you imagine him listen to that all the time? That's what I just said, yeah. that poor dog. <laughs> boy. He doesn't take a little stick. <laughs> That's good boy, Kurgan. Drop it. Drop it. Good boy, Lobo. Man, it is so beautiful out there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you can get me all dirty. Here. Good boy, Bobo. I know you tried. Sure you love to disrupt Lobo playing catch because he gets jealous. <laughs> They're like a couple of bratty brothers. All right, all right. Lobo raised Kurgan from a puppy. I have all those videos on the channel. Uh, the, the, the two dogs have never had a fight between them, have they, Tim? No. Yeah, they've. They're uh, such good boys. Yeah, they always have always gotten along. They really gets along. Yeah, they're very close. Yeah. Good boy, Bo. Bar. Got a handful of uh, hair from petting Lobo. But 
Oh yeah. That's cool. Well, I'm hoping the beginning footage of this wasn't all hazy and screwed up like before. I don't think so. Uh, well, it doesn't take much. Here, Mom, I want to get you muddy again. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Bo. Boop. Kurgan says, I'll just wait and take it from you when you bring it back. Right. <laughs> Good boy, Bo. But. Complain growl. Right, right. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> good boy, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy, too. Kurgan, uh, always, always is jealous. Come on. I mean that in a good way, not in a, not in a bad way. I gave you a chance to see the difference in size between K-Bar and Kurgan, I think they're against the rack. K-Bar is currently around uh, 103, 105 pounds, Kurgan's a little over 120. Both are in very uh, lean athletic condition. Up. Yeah, it is cooler. Synchronized cooping, just a moment. <laughs> well, now that that's taken care of, right? Yes.
here is the uh, Mississippi witch hunt, one of them. She's everywhere. Yeah, I looked for him as we were coming down the hill. I didn't see him. He's been avoiding us. Because you named him Fred and not Keck. <laughs> right. Come on, K-Bar. Good The double Bobo, dose. Your turn, turn Bo. <laughs> just want to come out and share it with you, Dad. Right? <laughs> he's sticking his whole head under the water. Oh, okay, so, so good. Yeah, he's oh, oh Jesus. There he got me. Thanks, Lobo. Somebody over there. You're just watching. Kurgan, though. Kurgan, stick around. Come on. Old basset hound over there. I just don't want him to startle him. Oh. No, come on. This way. Come on. Taking a bath up here. Refreshing. I'd like to jump in. Yeah. <laughs> well, the light coming through there is just beautiful. I think they got a good shot of you. Sarah didn't want the dogs to go by him and shake or anything in their little oh, dresses. Yeah. Look, the Mississippi witch. That must be where she hides her knitting stuff. <laughs> the Mississippi witch. She's everywhere. 
Yeah, it's kind of hard. You guys making friends? Hey guys. Handsome crew you got. Well, that's a uh, good social distance into the extreme, huh? We are out in the wilderness after all. Yeah, well, I know. People are free to believe what they like. I'm not worried about something that has a 98.8 survival loss rate. Uh, But then again, maybe we have a better understanding than that of a lot of people because both of us have worked in nursing. Yeah, it's just beautiful, Anna. Love it. All right, up. Up. Climb in uh, up out of the valley. Again, that sure is a cool shirt, Tam. It is a cool shirt. Lots of kids down here today. Yeah. My dogs just ignore children. That's what we've trained them to do. See, we're walking on a high ridge above the uh, River Valley we were just taking through now. Oh, it does feel good. Really good. They got a little puppy with them too. Okay. Yep. Here again, Lobo.
that lady with the dogs again. Again, you can see they're very responsive. Even when there's children and other dogs that are distractions around. Kurgan, you want to cuddle me and get me all dirty again? Sure, Dad. Oh, <laughs> Keeper's like, hey. <laughs> now, for those who will say, how come you're not cuddling Lobo? Oh, I try to cuddle Lobo. Lobo on these hikes, though, he's a high drive working dog. And so, he's constantly looking for things to chase. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's at home where Lobo cuddles. He's kind of like a cat. Uh, he loves affection on his terms. Where you can see with uh, K-Bar uh, or Kurgan, if I just kneel down, they come over and they want to be pet. So it's just kind of the difference in personality between them. Lobo's favorite thing at home is to roll on his back and have you scratch his chest and belly with your foot. <laughs> he makes all the grumbling Yeah, he makes all kinds of grumbling and groaning noises when you do it. It's pretty funny. I'll have to get a video of that. Even Lobo's growl is kind of more like a groan, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kind of a noise. Like a bear. Yeah, like a grumbly bear. Yeah. But yeah, you can see uh, Huko now is a little bit bigger than, uh, or uh, Kurg. Uh, uh, Spit it out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have any coffee yet. Uh, K bar is uh, a little bigger than uh, Lobo now at 12 months. Come on. Hey, Dad, we're checking our pee mail on the tree. <laughs> well, if you made it along this far, I, I hope you enjoyed it. That was a wonderful life, wasn't it? Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Dirty, but uh, hey, I enjoyed it all the same. I'm a farmer, uh, infantry paratrooper, so uh, I'm used to being dirty. <laughs> Mud's good. Mud. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. Also, check out the merch store. Very nice. Yes. Super comfy. That's all. Bye. Well, I've designed some new merch. Every uh, month or so, I create some new designs and retire the old ones. I thought I'd show you some of the new ones here. This is our uh, Red Hand logo. You can see it on a sweatshirt here. That's the back. That's the front. We offer this design on a bunch of different products. It's a t-shirt, a bunch of different colors. Tank tops. Fanny pack. and uh, cups you get a lot of different stuff women's shirts so that's the uh, red hand logo you may have seen me wearing that uh, on the channel the next design we created for uh, the new store is uh, this one here. It's the red hand logo with uh, the Elder Futhark uh, around it. Comes in many designs and colors. This here is a tri-blend shirt. Also uh, sell it in sweatshirts, women's uh, uh, flowy tank top. Men's tank tops. We also have an Alphadin version with uh, a paw handprint on the sleeve and uh, a tear rune on the other sleeve. 
This is all fit in on the back. It comes in many colors. So again, that's the Red Hand Elder Futhark shirt. Next one we uh, have in the store is uh, the uh, Brotherhood logo shirt. It's got uh, the hand logo on the front, the Brotherhood logo on the back. All these designs that you see on the shirt are actual tattoos that I have on me. This tattoo here, uh, the Brotherhood tattoo is on my ribs. Uh, my hand logo tattoo I have on my arm. And it comes in a bunch of colors, a bunch of different products, cups, you can even buy a fanny pack. Women's t-shirts. That's the Brotherhood shirt. Here we have uh, the hand logo with the uh, Elder Futhark again around it. And it's got my hand logo on the front. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Different sweatshirts. Fanny pack women's shirts again that's the rune logo with the white hand and then for those uh, who like my grilling series we have the uh, grill pimp shirts it says grilling ain't easy on the front Back here comes in a number of different colors and sweatshirts, t shirts, tank tops, women's flowy tank top. All kinds of stuff. So, again, those are the uh, five new designs in the store. Hope you liked it I appreciate all those people who've uh, been supporting the channel and uh, buying merch uh, again me and Tammy both thank you very much it's a good way to help support the channel you'll find a link uh, to my uh, Teespring store uh, at the bottom of uh, any video that I do and uh, you'll also find a tab for it on my YouTube channel thanks again everyone bye